Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing just a really laid back work with me. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I usually do like the night before I work on orders um, for like the next day. So I'm trying to do this thing where I prep all my orders so the next day when I start working on the orders, it makes things go a lot faster so I'm able to get out more to the post office by the end of the workday. So basically, um, I'm just gonna prep some orders for tonight, and then in the morning, we'll work on the rest of the orders, package them up, and then take them to the post office. So last week, it was extremely, extremely busy for me. Um, I don't know what happened, but I ended up having like 20 open orders, which has been the most that I've had open in a very, very long time. Um, so I don't know what was going on last week. Um, so far this week it's been kind of slow, which is kind of nice because it gives me a break to actually just get caught up. Literally I had so many like t-shirt orders. I like ran out of like tons of shirt sizes and I'm waiting on a big shipment of t-shirt orders. I'm like all out of everything, even vinyl um, I was out of for some of my colors. So. Um, I'm waiting on some shipments. Tomorrow all the t-shirts that I ordered are supposed to come in, hopefully. I have an AJ Blanks order, I have a Jiffy Shirts order, and a Shirt Space order. Two coming all tomorrow, so I think once those orders come in, I'll be all stocked up, and if I get another rush like I did last week, I'll be more prepared. I wasn't really prepared for that big rush because literally, like, I sold out a lot of my like t-shirt sizes and used up a lot of my vinyl so I'm all stocked up on vinyl luckily the last bit of vinyl that I ordered came in today so if I get any more t-shirt orders I am good um, now I'm just waiting on those t-shirts to come in um, I don't know if you guys got the email but I got an email from Jiffy Shirts they're actually going to be raising their prices on shirts and I believe their shipping times too are not going to be as quick which sucks because the holiday season's coming up and it's either I stock up and be prepared for the holiday season or just make sure that I'm on top of my inventory so I can stay ahead of it so if I need shirts I can quickly order them and get them in time. Um, but basically let's look at the orders that I already have right now. I actually need to print out some um, so I have a custom order. I, I also have a bunch of monster family shirts that I have to do and that's also on my to-do list is to get more matching like shirts for adults to go with the kids outfits because I mentioned this in the video too um, it just makes a kid's a birthday so much more like meaningful and it looks great for photos if like the mom and the dad and the grandparents aunts and uncles and the siblings all have like matching shirts not only does it make the kid feel extra special, but it looks really cute in photos. So um, on my to-do list, I wanna try and get like a family set of donut shirts up. I think that'll look really cute. And I have like a design already like in my head. So hopefully I'm gonna try and, once I get these orders out, work on some more new custom listings. Um, I wanna get more Halloween stuff up and then just a bunch more family shirts up as well. Um, I also have a embroidered baby blanket that I have to do. This person has ordered three um, of the same blankets from me. I'm thinking she's sending them out to like all her family members or like kids in her family. So I don't know if she watches my channel. I think she does, but if you do, thank you so much for ordering these blankets. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, actually, a lot of you lately have been um, buying stuff from my shop so thank you so much usually most of my sell or actually most of my sales come from ads because I'm running currently like $15 a day for ads so like most of my sales are from my ads a few sales here and there are from just like people searching up a specific item and then lately a bunch of you guys have been shopping in my shop so thank you so much I appreciate you guys um, and then I have a monster truck family um, sure they ordered four so again guys definitely if you don't have like family shirts like matching shirts definitely you should have that as an option in your shop because this is four shirts and this is three shirts so so I definitely recommend it um, 
that same person who also bought the blanket also bought four shirts too from me. She bought um, my Momster shirt and my Dacula shirt. Let me show you guys the design real quick. So here is the Dacula shirt um, or the Dacula design. I drew this up and had my artist kind of made it a lot better than my little quick sketch that I did. But um, here is the Dacula design. And then here is the Momster design. Um, so that person ordered one of these, or one of each. She ordered a Dacula one and a Momster one, and then two kids like ghost shirts that I offer. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, and then I have another Momster family, a mom and a dad one, and then somebody in the embroidery community actually ordered a t-shirt for me. Let me show you the design she got. She got this one. Um, actually, Pam, Pamela, um, Sterling Styles, um, if you watch her on YouTube, she ordered this one. And these are like DTF prints, direct to film. Um, so basically, it has the same texture as like HTV, but you don't have to do any weeding or anything, and you just get so many color options too. So you can do more detailed designs than like with HTV. Um, but we are also selling the DTF transfers as well. Um, we do custom ones, and then we have some listed on my website too that are like already like pre-made um, designs. So if you are in the need of some DTF transfers, um, definitely go check out my website. I have it linked down below. Um, if you spend more than $35, you get free shipping. Um, you just have to use the code free shipping. So the DTF prints are really nice to have because I really want a DTG printer, um, but that's not in my budget at the moment. So DTF is a really good option um, to get started in that kind of, to get started with more detailed shirts. Um, it's a lot quicker. Literally all you have to do is heat press it onto the shirt for like 20 seconds and that's it. So if you have like a big bulk order, say like a business orders like 20 shirts from you, um, DTF prints or direct to film prints is a good option to be able to bust out a bunch of t-shirt designs um, very quickly. Hopefully um, with the DTF prints we'll be able to grow our business to be able to work with other like businesses and do like big bulk orders. Um, you get that a lot when you do embroidery because companies will order hats, they'll order t-shirts, like if you want to do like the logo on like the left chest. Um, you could do the same thing with DTF prints, it's just not embroidery. You can even do it on hats too. Um, you can do it on a variety of materials. Um, I also want to make tags too with my DTF prints. Like you can do so much with DTF prints. So. We're just getting started on it and I'm really excited to just kind of test it out and see what else we can do with DTF prints. Um, but yeah, and then I think I have two other orders that I don't have printed. Let me see, let me check my Etsy real fast. I also have a tie-dye Momster shirt that I have to do. Um, with the Momster shirt, I have to um, let the dye sit for 24 hours on the shirt, so I probably won't get that one started because I need my sink cleared out and I don't feel like doing the dishes. So um, that order I'll probably wait to get started until tomorrow, till tomorrow so I can clean out my sink. Um, but let's go ahead and let's head over to my craft room because I need to cut out a pair of bell bottoms. And I kind of want to tidy up in there a little bit too um, before I get started in all these orders. So let's head over to my craft room and let's go work in there for a little bit. So I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys how dirty this room is. Um, it's not really dirty, it's just really unorganized because last week I was so freaking busy that I wasn't able to like clean as I go. Basically I would be in here, cut fabric really fast and just like shove it back on the shelves. Or if I was looking for a onesie to embroider or to do a design on, I had to search through all my onesies and then it just gets a mess. And then I also have a bunch of shirts that I ordered that I actually need to put away. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sweep in here, put these shirts up, and then cut those bell bottoms out. And I also have some minky that I have to cut up too for a baby blanket. So I'm gonna do that for right now and then I'll see you guys when I'm done.
Okay, so I have my material for my baby blanket cut, and then I also have the bell bottoms cut out. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out all the vinyl. I do want to test stitch um, one of the new t-shirt designs or one of the custom shirt designs before I actually embroider it onto the shirt. So before I do that, I'm just going to cut all the vinyl that I need to cut out. The designs are super easy, so it shouldn't take very long to cut out all these designs, luckily. So I'm going to cut those out, and then if I have time, I'll test stitch the design. If not, I'll have to do that in the morning. Um, but it's already midnight. I don't want to stay up too much longer, so I'm going to probably go to bed around 12.30 and then wake up around 7 or 8. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting some vinyl now. Okay guys, so I'm trying to do my very best to try and use up all like of my scrap pieces. So the nice thing with Cricut is you can arrange the designs however you want on the mat. So I'm gonna go mess around with the design. I know one of the pieces um, is pretty big so I'm gonna use up this whole piece of vinyl for that one part of the design. And the rest of the design is really tiny pieces so I'm gonna try and use up the rest of these little itty bitty tiny pieces of blue vinyl. Um, down in the comments let me know how you guys organize all your scrap pieces of vinyl because I try my best to like keep all of these and I end up using them up. Currently I'm just currently I'm just using a bucket and it's getting pretty full so let me know down in the comments how do you guys organize all your scrap pieces of vinyl because this stuff is still usable. This, this stuff is still good. You can still use it. So don't throw away your tiny pieces of vinyl because you can still use it for some type of project. All right, so right now I'm just kind of moving the pieces around. I'll show you guys in a second what I mean. Um, So this is what my mat looks like, and this is the screen. So I arranged all the little tiny pieces, and you could just click on the part of the design, and you can move it around. You can flip it. You do all. You can do all of that um, on Cricut Design Space. Um, and then I just lay out my vinyl onto the mat on the same spot that I have on like the computer screen. So I'm gonna use up all these little pieces and put them to use. Um, after this design, I have, I think, another monster one and a monster truck family set of shirts that I have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this um, set of shirts up, and then I'll work on the next ones. So I'm all done cutting all the vinyl out. Um, I wasn't able to test stitch out the embroidery design. I'm going to save that for tomorrow morning, and then I'll work on the t-shirts tomorrow, and so my bell bottoms, and then I think that's pretty much all I have to do tomorrow. So it's 1.30. I went an hour past my bedtime. I have all the vinyl cut and everything ready to go for tomorrow. So literally, I probably only have to work maybe two, three hours tomorrow. So it should be a pretty easy day because I have all this stuff prepped and ready to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to bed because I am so tired. Um, I'm trying my best to like go to bed earlier. I've been doing okay for the last few days, but my goal is to go to bed at least at midnight and then get up around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning um, when my boys wake up. I'm going to try and go to bed earlier tomorrow, um, but if I won't have any orders that need to go out tomorrow because I'll have everything done, so I won't have to work after tomorrow. So basically I'll just have time to make some new samples and things like that, unless I get some orders, but it's been, it was a slow weekend actually, and um, 
I'm okay with that because last week kicked my butt. So anyways, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, the boys are settled down, so I'm gonna try and use this time to get started on the orders. Um, don't mind all the squeaking. Uh, we actually adopted a puppy from a shelter, so he's been keeping me quite busy the last couple weeks. Um, and he's a perfect fit for our family. Uh, he's super rambunctious. Um, let me see if he'll come over here. Um, I'll show you guys what he looks like. <laughs> this is Maui. Um, we don't know much about him because we adopted him from a local shelter. He was actually abandoned at a park. Um, so he is our new addition to the family and he's perfect. All right, you guys ready to let mom work now? You ready to let me work? What about you? You're gonna tell them bye? It's not time to tell them bye yet. Are you ready to let me work? Yeah, Dad, I went bye bye. He's not here right now. So it's just us. It's time for us to get to work. Baba? Yeah. Hey, Baba. Mm hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding some vinyl. I have it all ready for me. Um, so I'm gonna start weeding and turn my heat press on and just get going. So I managed to get two shirts done. I still have one more for at least for one order. Um, that one has to go out today. So I'll get that one out today. But the kids, they were not having it. They wanted to go play outside. So we're taking a break. We're going to go ahead and play outside for a little bit. The weather's cool right now. And luckily it's not too smoky. I live in California and there's some major fires going on about an hour away from our home. So usually whenever that happens, um, where I live, it gets super, super smoky. But luckily, it's nice and clear out today and it's not too hot. So we're just gonna play, and have some fun, and then we'll get back to work.
so we are taking a lunch break. We're eating some food. I got um, this shirt done. I got that one, that one, and then a onesie done. I'm working on another shirt, and uh, I'm just gonna keep chugging along. stitching this one out. Um, I got too distracted with the bell bottoms that I forgot to switch off the thread for this machine, so it just kind of sat there. Um, this test design is turning out sweet. They're sweet. It's turning out super cute. I'm gonna make the stitches on the donut though a little bit thicker. Can't really see it too well, but I actually really love how it's turning out, and I'm super excited to add this to my shop because there, you can kind of see it says five is so sweet. I'm gonna do it for actually all the numbers. So it's just a whole nother new donut design that I can add to my shop, which I'm super excited about. Okay guys, so it's actually two, two days later. So I didn't wrap up that work with me video just because um, my husband let me know that somebody stole basically all of our money out of our checking account. They left us with a whole $14. So after that happened, I was completely just like stressed out, irritated, in a bad mood. Um, so I really didn't have it in me to work on the rest of those orders. I only got the two orders that needed to go out for that day done. And then all those other orders that I had left over, I just waited till the next day to ship them out because they were already done and made. Um, I just wasn't in the mood to record because I was in a pretty bad mood. I have Maui in here with me. He's just chewing on something already. Maui, what are you doing? Are you chewing on my boxes? It's not cool, dude. Not cool. Okay, let me get him out of here before he destroys something. Um, usually, I don't let my dogs in this room. Um, Maui, come on. Anyways, I have a few orders that I need to work on for today. Um, I'm running a Labor Day sale for this whole week um, until Tuesday when the day after Labor Day. We'll see how many sales I get. So far I'm not getting like a ton. It's actually been really slow this week. Um, and even with a 20% off sale I'm still kind of slow. But the week before was super busy so um, I'm okay if it's a little dead today. It is the first of the month so we'll see a lot of kids are going back to school too especially where i live so i don't know I mean, it's just a slow week um but anyways i want to show you guys i don't know if i showed you guys these yet we just got them um but my husband printed these out for me so i had my artist drop two designs for me um i wanted to do a mummy mom theme designed for Halloween and then I wanted to do a dog mom themed one so this is gonna be the one for just moms I thought it'd be really cute to have like a little baby pulling on like her I guess cloths or her not thread but her wraps or whatever because when I'm like trying to work or if I'm trying to like clean or do the dishes if I'm not giving my kids like a hundred percent of their time my youngest, Mason, he always likes to pull on my shirt to like get my attention, so I just thought that was really cute. And my artist added my other original design 
to her shirt. So I thought that was a really cute thing, a little cute touch that he added. Um, so I just, I love how that design turned out. And then I'm also a dog mom too. So I wanted to do a dog, dog, a dog mummy design. And it's the same girl, same outfit, but instead of a kid, I wanted to have like a little dog. And the little dog is inspired by Maui and also Stitch too because they're both um, black and tan German Shepherds. So I thought that would be really cute. I do have them listed now onto my Etsy. I don't know if I have them on my website yet. I need to go check. Um, but yeah, I know a few of you guys asked for my artist's information. Currently he's not working with any other people just because he has a pretty heavy load of people he's working with and he just got signed for something big. Um, so he has a big project he's working on. So he is gonna, he's not gonna have any time for any new clients and Eric and I are keeping him very, very busy. We have a bunch of Halloween designs um, coming out and then I have to start thinking of some Christmas designs. I kind of want to still stick with the whole horror theme just because I love horror movies. I'm a total horror buff. So I just want to kind of stick with that kind of theme. So I'm trying to think of some like Christmas designs that are also kind of spooky too at the same time. So I'm going to have to sit down and just kind of sketch some things out. And I'm no artist at all, but um, what, I, what I'm able to do, what I like to do is just sketch whatever design I kind of want. And then I give it to my artist, kind of tell them what I want done with the design and he just kind of does his thing with it which is so cool and so nice so um, I'm really enjoying working with him he's basically able to take like all of like the designs that I've been picturing and imagining um, and he's been making some pretty cool stuff with them I do eventually kind of want him to sketch up some designs so I can eventually start doing my own fabric line um, I've been talking about this as it's been one of my biggest goals um, with my business is to start my own knit and thread fabric line and um, I think I'm going to continue to work with this artist if he's not too busy. I think I'm going to continue working with him and try and come up with some designs for some fabric. Um, and then I had to go through the whole process of trying to get to find a manufacturer to print the fabric for me. Um, different types of material as well because I want to do bullet fabric because I love uh, bullet fabric for my bell bottoms I want to do cotton fabric for my baby blankets and any other like type of designs that I have in mind um, but it's been really fun doing this honestly it's been almost like therapeutic coming up with these designs and just sitting and drawing even though I'm not really good at it it's still just like I can sit and draw and then give it to him and then he makes it look really nice so it's really cool but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start working on a few orders. I have three bell-bottom orders that don't all need to get out um, today. Actually, I don't think any of them have to go out until Monday. Um, but I just want to try and get ahead of my orders because I have Jackson's birthday on Saturday. Um, so I want to make him some new shirts um, to wear on his birthday. We're going to do like a whole Hot Wheels theme or a car theme birthday. So... I have some HTV shirts planned out that I'm going to make so we all have matching shirts and I also want to do an embroidered shirt for him as well and all those will be added to uh, my Etsy shop which is kind of nice because last year when I did Mason and Jackson's birthday, Jackson's birthday I did the whole monster truck theme and for Mason's birthday I did the whole monster theme and then those two shirts ended up being my best sellers. So, Hopefully this whole car, Hot Wheels kind of theme, it's not really Hot Wheels, but it's going to be similar to that. Um, hopefully this design will sell well. And then for Mason's birthday, his birthday is in October. I don't know what I'm going to do for his birthday yet. I haven't decided. I'm not sure. But I have a kind of a design stuck in my head, but I'm not sure if I want to do it or not. We'll see. But um, I'm going to stop rambling. Get to work. Um, and try and get some orders out. My kids are at my mom's house for a little bit. Um, so it's kind of nice. I'll be able to work with no kids. Um, 
so it's gonna be relaxing for me at least it's gonna be a relaxing work with me video so let's just go get back to work my next design already edited I guess well, not edited I added the name to the design I like to do all the thread changes and the thread colors on the actual machine because once I set it up the machine doesn't automatically program it you have to do that all yourself so just to help save me a step I'll just wait till I have the design uploaded to the machine and then I'll do all the editing there I just ordered some a few days, like two days ago, so I'm hoping it gets delivered today, maybe tomorrow, so I need to, hopefully I have enough to do, I have three shirts that need this green, so hopefully I have enough for that. So, let's see what I have left. So, I have the puff sleeve going for that one right now. I need to do this blanket. I'll probably do this one on my baby lock. We might do it on the big machine, I'm not sure. Then I have a pair of bell bottoms I have to do. I still have this monster tie-dye shirt, which I'll probably get started right now. Um, and then I have four t-shirts. I have all of them except one large youth. So I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I believe that comes today, so hopefully that comes and I can get started on this order. And then I, ha I have a design that I just need the shirt for. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail hopefully today. Oh. And then I have this order that I have all the shirts for so I'll probably just get started on this one. It's just three of the monster ones. Um, so I'll work on this I'm thinking for right now and then I'll start that tie-dye shirt.
the green vinyl to do the design, but I have the design all cut, now I just have to weed it. This design now, this one has no applique on it, it's just like a sketch stitch, which will, it'll be really nice because once they load up the shirt, um, I won't have to mess around with it, it just stitches out, it just does its thing. So. Hey guys, it is, I believe, the next day. Pretty sure it's the next day. So for today, I'm just gonna get started working on some Etsy orders. I have orders that I need to finish up um, because once I picked up the boys yesterday from my mom's, I wasn't able to get much more work done. Um, I actually ended up falling asleep with them last night. I must have been super tired. Um, but I'm gonna work on some orders for today. Um, and whatever I don't get to the post office, I'll work on tonight. And then tomorrow is Jackson's third birthday. So I don't want to work on any orders at all. And the post office closes early on Saturdays. So I'm thinking once I wake up with the boys, celebrate a little bit for his birthday, I'll drop off those packages, the rest of the packages that need to go out. And then we're actually going to go take them to go see a movie on Saturday. Um... But I need to cut up some, let me show you what I have to cut up. I need to cut up some labels. I made these two, three days ago. Uh, just using my heat press and sublimation printer. I just need to cut them now. These are my um, permanent tags that I use for my baby blankets, my kids clothes, my embellished shirts. I need to cut that, but before I do that, I need to put these shirts away. My order finally came in yesterday, so I'm able to fulfill the rest of my shirt orders, except now I'm all out of white t-shirts, so now I need to make another order for some white shirts because I'm all out of larges. But we are offering quite a bit of few colors, so these bins are getting pretty full. I'm trying to keep between two to four of each size of each color of shirts. Um, especially in black and in white right now because those colors are the most popular right now. Especially with Halloween coming up, I need to really stock up on um, some of my black shirts. And then I just sold another tie-dye monster shirt, so I need to get some more white t-shirts for tie-dye. I probably need to get some tie-dye as well. But as you guys can see, these bins are getting pretty big, so I'm thinking... Um, the next time I get paid from Etsy, I think I'm going to buy three more um, little bins to kind of help with this. Because there's so many colors and so much of each size. I'm losing space. Um, and then I have all my AJ Blanks. Uh, and these are all my soft style Gildan shirts that I use for my kids shirts. Um, I like to use these um, for HTV. Anything for embroidery, I like to use um, my AJ Blank, so I think this would be really cute for scrunchies. So I'm going to be making some scrunchies, and same for this ombre fabric. Um, I'm going to be making scrunchies out of this too, so I'm going to be doing a flea market, so stay tuned for a video of me making scrunchies because I have a lot of fabric that I have to go through and make stuff with that I can't use for kids clothing so I'm gonna be using all that fabric to make scrunchies. I need to make some bell bottoms with this fabric. I just got this fabric in so I need to make a whole cow themed outfit um, with this fabric. I have about 50 yards of this to sell and to um, make stuff out of. I also have this cute like cheetah print. Um, I have a whole birthday outfit planned. I kind of want to make it like um, Lisa Frank colors um, just because of all the rainbows. So I'm thinking I have an outfit planned for this. So I need to get started on that. Minky fabric, I'm doing pretty well. I need to restock on white. I'm thinking hopefully this can get me through Christmas. Um, baby blankets. Baby blankets for Christmas time are a big seller for me, so I'm hoping that I have enough white. I'm definitely low on pink. This is probably only like two yards left. Oh my god. Um, I have a lot of baby blue left, a lot of light gray, navy gray is another big seller of mine, so I might need to restock on that. 
black. I haven't made anything with black, but I have a baby blanket in mind for this one. Um, and lavender too. I have a bunch of like cute flannel fabric that I just haven't made stuff with yet. Um, where is it? Oh, I have a firefighter one and I'm thinking this print, this print will look really good with the black minky. And then I have a really cute girl mermaid print. It's like a boho style. I've had this, I've had all this fabric for so long and I just haven't made any new samples. Um, I usually only sell like this one, this one, that one's a big seller. Um, so those ones are like my top sellers. So the rest of this fabric is just sitting here. So I need to get some things made. I have like an under the sea one. I have just so much fabric and I just need to sit and make stuff with it. So I need to get to work. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I need to put these shirts away. I also have 50 yards of fabric I need to put away. Um, I'm going through this stuff like crazy, but I'm so happy I got 150 yards total. I also sell it, so it's been doing okay with getting some sales on it, but I myself personally have been using so much of it just to fulfill orders, so it's kind of nice to have all that fabric in stock, and I'm hoping that it'll last me through Christmas, so I won't have to order any more until, like, January, so. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna cut some fabric, cut those tags, and put all this stuff away.
Okay guys, so it's later on in the night. My kids are asleep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up um, some of these orders. Now I do have a few that I'm not gonna get out tomorrow. Uh, they don't have to go out for a few days. So um, because it is Labor Day weekend and my son's birthday is tomorrow, I'm just gonna finish up these orders, drop them off in the morning, and then to celebrate my son's birthday tomorrow and kind of just enjoy the whole weekend. Um, because it is a three-day weekend, my local post office is closed on Monday, so I can just wait to work on orders until Monday and then get the rest of them and then the, all the orders that I get during the weekend, too, because I am running a sale currently. But any other orders, I'll work on those Monday night and get those in the mail. But to finish up the rest of these orders, what I basically have to do is add tags to all the kids' items. Um, and then package them up. I'm gonna save the packaging video for a separate video, so keep a lookout for that one. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sew these tags on, and then I'll be done for tonight. So I am all done with the orders. Now the only thing I need to do is package them up. But I'm going to film a separate video for you guys because I'm going to show you guys exactly how I package up all my Etsy orders. Um, I seriously love how my two t-shirt designs came out. I can't believe like that's something that I, like I didn't draw it but I sketched it out and my artist was able to come up with something, something pretty cool so I'm just still in shock that that's something that's unique and one of a kind to my shop. No one else has it, so I just, I'm so grateful. But anyways, I just, I love my t-shirt designs. Uh, these came out super cute. This one I love, the colors. I love the shading and all the colors on this one. Love how these outfits turned out. Of course, gotta have some rainbow shirts and some family shirts, but a busy, 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 busy day and night. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked this style of video. I've never done like a full week of like working on Etsy orders, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is Friday, so like I mentioned before, I'm gonna actually take the weekend off uh, I'll work Monday on Labor Day, but um, I'm going to take the weekend off and just spend time with my family since it's my son's third birthday. I can't believe he's already three. But uh, I'm going to take the weekend off and get right back to work on Monday. So I will see you guys then. Make sure to give this video a like if you like a week-long work with me style video. Um, Definitely, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Down in the comments, um, definitely leave me some more video ideas on what you guys would like to see content-wise. Um, do you guys want more tutorials, more work with me's? Just let me know down below what would you guys like. And that's going to be it. 
for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.